This is Norman Kochnik here for ABP News Live. After the first day's play of the match between Australia and India on the Gabba. A magnificent day of cricket with an amazing or a shock selections of a number of players in the Indian team. They've been further depleted with the likes of Ashwin and Boomer both ruled out for today's match. And subsequently, uh, obviously, Vihari as well. They left three players ruled out and a fourth change came out of it. So, in fact, that led to the debutants Natarajan and also Washington Sunda coming in the side with Shardul Thakur in his second match after only bowling 10 overs, 10 balls, in fact, in the West Indies test match that he played previously and also brought in to play. We expected Saha to be there, but it wasn't, so Punt is kept on the keeping position and Mayank Agarwal came in place as well into the team. So there were significant changes in the lineup. Obviously, they lost Jadeja, Ashwin, Bumrah and Vihari, all due to injuries. So the day started with Australia winning the toss and electing to bat, which would be a typical thing that Australia would do on a game of pitch, which is normally used for the first test match, but is in fact the fourth this time around. The pitch was surprisingly brown, not as green and as lush as it would normally be in the early part of the season, but still it was very much a bouncy, pacey wicket. Australia batted first, as I said. They, were, they lost two wickets very early, and India looked like they were on top. Both Warner and Harris went very cheaply. Warner was caught by Sharma of the bowling of Siraj for one, and then Harris fell shortly after off, um, uh, unbelievably, uh, Shardul Thakur's first delivery of his spell, he, Harris clipped it, um, the ball to a, a short mid-wicket and went straight down the throw to Washington Sun Sundar and he was out for five. So Australia were reeling somewhat at two for 17, but that brought Labuschagne and Smith, who were both in form together, and they went to lunch at 265 with Labuschagne on 19 and Smith on 30. During this period of time also, yet another bowler for India has gone down. Nav Navdeep Saini with a hamstring problem has left the field and may not be a part of the team from this point onwards. So again, India is struggling with bowlers. Mind you, they had uh, the likes of Rohit Sharma to bowl medium pace as well. That led to an after lunch period where both Abhishek and Smith batted together and they reached 87 when in fact Smith clipped the ball to Sharma off the bowling of Washington Sunday, his first wicket as a debutant for 36. And that led to Australia being three down for 87. Labuschagne and Wade came together very strongly at that point, and Labuschagne batted particularly well. Despite being dropped in the 30s, he finished the, up to the tee break on 73 not out, with Wade on 27. Australia were, in fact, at that point, three for 154. They returned after tee, and yet again, Labuschagne has reached a century, batted magnificently, was on 101 with Wade. Wade, unfortunately, in that period of 30s and 40s, he typically loses his head a bit and tried to, to pull a ball that went skyward. He was caught by Shardul off the bowling of Nalarajan, his first wicket playing for India, for 45. And, and Australia had India at four for 200. Labuschagne was then together with um, the likes of, of Green. Unfortunately, Labuschagne, having just scored a century, was out again to a similar sky shot off Nalarajan, caught by the keeper Punt for 108, which left Green to bat with Payne at 5 for 213. Australia could easily have been out for less than 250 and India would have been well on top. But Payne and Green held firm and finished the day on 5 for 274 after some 87 overs. Payne was on 38 and Green on 28. So effectively Australia were 5 for 274 for the day, leading to Australia being somewhat in front, but not a great deal. India's bowlers did particularly well for their first test. Don't forget that the, the Siraj is now the, the head bowler after only three matches, and the rest of the bowlers have bowled, played less, a number of them being, two of them being debutants, one being in the second match, and virtually no experience, but Mohamed Siraj is now the lead bowler of the team, giving advice to the likes of Shardul throughout the match, which was quite incredible. Five for 274 they finished on. Day two will be very interesting. I think Australia need to bat well past 300, but India could well skittle them for about 300 and they could actually have an advantage here with a good batting line that they have. This is Norman Kochnik for ABP News Live. Don't forget to view, like and share the ABP News Live posts. Subscribe and provide feedback and comments and I'll make sure I get information back to you for updates. This is day one ending. Talk to you tomorrow on day two. This is Norman Kochnik for ABP News Live.